good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash filmmyrun and also Twitter at filmmyrun and the website is www.filmmyrun.com It's very nearly time so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Wednesday workout. Uh, I'm going to take it a little bit easier tonight because I just don't know uh, how my legs are going to react because this will be this will be the first run I have done since the marathon on Sunday. Uh, Lee Betts, good evening to you. Jonathan Perkin, Paul Hayward in Paul Hayward's in Group A tonight. Well done, Paul. Let's see how well you do. Uh, Carol Rushworth, hello. Hi, Carol. Hello, Finnemore. Uh, Amy Green, Sebastian and Tiago. Hi guys, nice to have you with us. We've got 90 seconds to go before we start. Mario is in there as well. Happy Wednesday, everyone, says Clive. Um, Easy-ish tonight for me, says Jonathan. He's in Group C. Yeah, so I I've joined Group A, but I am doing it at 93%. So I have knocked it, I've knocked it down a little bit. Oh, Paul Hayward says, I thought I was in Group C. Oh, are you? Oh, right. Maybe I'm wrong then about the the list. Oh, because Lee Betts is listed there. Lee, are you in Group A? I hope not. Lee, do not. Whatever you do, don't go at Group A pace. <laughs> um, yeah. So oh, maybe I'm just reading this wrong then. Because, yeah, I don't think Group... I don't think Lee is in Group A. So uh, uh, I imagine that... Oh, yeah. Carol's listed there as well. So why is everybody in the same pen? We've got everybody in the same pen. Uh, Amy says she's chilling in Group D. Uh, Carol Rushworth says, I'm behind you at your front door. <laughs> that why does that not surprise me? I w <laughs> that would not surprise me in the slightest, Carol. Uh, right, I've left the doors closed, raining and blowing a gale outside. So I'm just going to leave it like that for the, just for the warm up. And then once we've warmed up, I will uh, I will start to uh, open the doors and get some fresh air in here. So let's get moving. Here we go, Wednesday workout for the uh, first run back since the Brighton Marathon. Had a fantastic time. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who came down um, and took part in either the 5K uh, park run on Saturday morning. Everyone who came round to this very uh, house on, um, hang on a minute, Steph Cousins. Can you see that? There's somebody called Steph Cousins riding. Um, yeah, everyone who came round to the house Saturday afternoon, everyone who came to the meal on Saturday evening, and uh, well done to everyone who ran the marathon or the 10K on Sunday morning. It was a superb weekend, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it was made all the better by you guys being there. So thank you so much. And we will do it all again next year. But we now already have to decide where we're going next year. Do we do Brighton again? Do we go back to Paris? Or do we choose somewhere totally different? Do we go for a hot, sunny, holiday-style weekend away? Or do we choose something else? Uh, Paul Deering is in the house. He's. Uh, did I mention I got a what? Can't read that. Paul's written something in the chat there, but I can't read what it says. Uh, Anthony Anderson says, good evening, everyone. Hope you had a good run. We did, Anthony, thank you. We really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, so, we're back. Uh, I took yesterday and Monday off. I know some people were expecting me to run yesterday, and I apologise for that. I just, I planned to run on Tuesday, but uh, Monday night, uh, Mrs. C and I decided that we would go and take the kids out. So we went out to Portsmouth and went up the Spinnaker Tower and uh, did some shopping in Gunwharf Keys 
and basically had a bit of family time and enjoyed ourselves out there. So I took the day off from running on Tuesday, but we are back on it now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sebastian. Uh, Lee Betts wants to go to Paris next year. Uh, do you know what? I would like to go back to Paris, but um, um, I'll go with everyone else, what everybody else wants to do. <laughs> uh, Jonathan says, Paul, why do I get... Or no, 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 me, I think it's directed at. Why do, you, why do I get the feeling that Carol was a memory that will keep coming back to haunt you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, do, it doesn't keep coming back to haunt me. It's just, it's just right there, front and centre. Causing me mental trauma every second of the day. Hey, I don't think I'm going to last with the doors closed for the whole of the... Uh, uh, the warm-up, because I'm already quite warm. Uh, Lee Betts says she will go anywhere that's flat next year. I agree with you, Lee. Brighton was not flat, was it? You know, it was it was a lot hillier than I expected. Um, many people would have expected me to have already run Brighton Marathon, but that was my first time doing Brighton Marathon, so I had not. I didn't really know what to expect. And it was a lot hillier than I thought it would be. So well done to Paul. Well done to everyone for running on, on Sunday. But well done to Paul for getting his PB yeah, on a course like that. On a flat course, Paul, we would have gone sub two, uh, sub 350. Yeah, Amy says it needs to be as flat as a pancake for her to do another marathon. Amy crossed the line on Sunday saying, never again, never again. Uh, Anthony says, what was the wind like down there? Yeah, it was, it was quite breezy, but it wasn't, it wasn't race, race destroying breezy. So it was breezy, but not a disaster. Uh, Jonathan says the last time you did Brighton was at the 10k. Yes, I got, um, I think I got 41 minutes, didn't I? At Brighton 10k last year. <laughs> uh, not only did, not only did Amy say she was never running another marathon, but she said she was never running again, full stop. Uh, I trust that a couple of days rest has changed Carol's mind. Oh, uh, sorry, Amy's mind. Uh, Clive says, well done to everyone at the weekend. Good effort by all. I hope you had an awesome experience. I, th I think we did. I think it was, it was really nice just meeting up with everybody again. And, uh, you know, despite the running, apart from all the running, it was just really nice getting to meet so many people that I'd not met before and also reconnecting with people we had met before but haven't seen for a while like Carol and Paul um, and Debbie, yeah, was, that was nice. And of course, people like Neil Messenger and Amy Green actually see quite a lot. And Tina, to some degree. Uh, we see those guys, uh, you know, once or twice a year. So that's quite nice. Maybe even more. Uh, we are gradually speeding up on our warm-up here on Wednesday workout. Um, like I said, I am doing it a bit easier today because I'm not sure how the legs will react. I think I'm okay, but let's not risk getting injured. I have, uh, Paul Deering and I have London Marathon in a week and a half. And I do want to try a bit harder at London Marathon. So I um, I need to be ready. I need to be recovered. I will do a fast 
interval session next week. So next Wednesday, I will probably go as hard as I can on the Wednesday. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, Neil's had a bit of an injury since he got back, so I hope you're getting a little better, Neil. Oh, Lee, is, Lee Bess is also running London, says Victoria. Well, Lee. So Lee and myself and Paul Deering running London in a week and a half. Good for us. <laughs> and let's hope we survive. <laughs> okay, 700 metres left of this warm-up. I will be a bit quieter once we start the main bulk of the workout. I'm not going to be chatting so much, even though I'm not going to be going quite as hard as I should do. I'm definitely... Um, I'm definitely going to be working a bit harder, so there'll be less chat. <laughs> well, uh, Lee says, I am doing London. I hope it doesn't break me like Brighton did. Uh, Lee, you will have a very good 26-mile training run in your legs. So you will be stronger and fitter and just pace it well. Try and relax, and you will be fine. And you will do better than you will do better than Brighton. But it's obviously less hilly. London is far less hilly than Brighton. So hopefully you can come in a bit nearer that five-hour time. Oh, I haven't got my um, companion app working. I need to set up Wi-Fi. Hang on a second. Bear with me. get back to the running in a second just computer stuff to do there we go and uh, let me now open the doors as well we've got 250 meters before we start the main bulk of the run Right, let me just open the doors now, bear with me. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do um, some strides. Uh, 200, sorry, 100 meters of uh, 15 kilometers per hour just to get the legs and uh, the uh, body ticking over a bit faster. <laughs> uh, Neil Messenger said he was going to do the workout tonight, but his body said no. Uh, Carol says, Neil, yes, we all said no. <laughs> There's a few of us here. There's a few people running this session tonight. Okay, here we go. Up to 15.
So that's one done. Oh yes, uh, Paul said, says a uh, great parkrun video. So uh, yes, if you came to parkrun and you did Worthing Parkrun with us on Saturday, uh, there is now a video up on YouTube on the Film My Run channel if you would like to go and watch that of our parkrun on Saturday morning. Even Well, if you weren't there, go and have a, a watch of that. You can see Carol and Debbie and Paul and Neil and Lee Leggett. Uh, you'll see mostly of Lee Leggett because that's who I ran with most of the time on Saturday morning. Oh yes! Jonathan Koss says that, run, that says run at 10.6 kph for 400 minutes, not 400 meters. You're right. <laughs> no, it's 400 meters, even though it says 400 minutes. Uh, Anthony says, how long did you wait for your coffee? Probably about half an hour. I think uh, I think Debbie went in and, and, and got them to uh, sort it out. Uh, Debbie has joined us. She says, there's an awful rumor going around that I was running on it. Uh, you, well, it's not a rumor. It's the truth. Debbie Colville did actually run a park run on Saturday morning. Sebastian says, Stephen, you didn't tell us what time it was for the last kilometre at Parkrun. Um, do you know what? I don't know what time it was. Um, I think Lee Leggett did 4.16. So I think I did about 4.05 or something. I'm not, sh I'm not entirely sure, though. Because... About halfway round that last kilometre, there was a chap behind me and he was trying to go as hard as he could. So I kind of paced him for the last kilometre to try and get him in as fast as he could. And then I got told off by Lee at the end for going too fast. <laughs> But it is amazing to think that that final kilometre of park run was basically around about Lee Leggett's actual marathon pace. Which is mad, isn't it? Okay, we've been running for 16 minutes. Uh, we have eight kilometres remaining. And now it's time to start the main crux of the session seven times 600 meters with a 400 meter active recovery after each 600. i'll be doing them at 14 kph for the 600 and 13 for the 400 and let's see how we do here we go let's go with the first one
Please feel free to chat amongst yourselves while I do this. Uh, Victoria, if you're around, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. I could possibly do with a sugar uh, boost. I don't know if you've got any more teasers available. That isn't a joke, by the way, Vic. I, uh, yeah, my head's a bit light. I, I think I probably need some sugar. Uh, Victoria says she knew I'd get my hands on her Maltesers eventually. Excuse me while I eat these Maltesers. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll have as well. That gum on top of that you can eat. the best thing about the weekend for you following my backside yeah okay here we go for number two yeah a bit of a sugar uh, crash just happened right at the beginning of the run Jonathan says, as I said on Facebook, your mile splits were awesome. Uh, cheers, Jonathan. Yeah, we, I mean, I think myself, Paul and Theo all did really well. And we had a friend of mine, James, with us running for the first, for the 20, for 20 miles of it as well. Uh, James fell away at 20 miles. 
and Paul just slowed marginally. I was trying to drag him along and he did amazingly well, but just slowed marginally in the last couple of miles. Oh yes, I did have a bit of a watch disaster, didn't I, as well? Yeah, my, my watch just crashed on me. Luckily, I was wearing two watches. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I am desperate for this sugar to kick in because this is, uh, this is uncomfortable. My legs feel like jelly. <laughs> My head started to go a bit faint. That's not too bad now, but my legs have gone to jelly. Desperately need that sugar hit to kick in. Uh, Neil says he's got another marathon to do in two weeks. Which one are you doing, Neil? Uh, Carol, yes, I definitely had holes in my shorts by the end of that run. Amy says low blood sugar is awful. Yeah, it's feeling pretty awful at the moment, it has to be said. I don't often get this. But occasionally, if I've not eaten very well during the day, I sometimes have this on evening runs. Shall I get Victoria to bring me a cup of tea out? Oh, okay, water will do, but yeah, tea would be better than water. I like tea better than water. Thank you. Okay, off we go again, number three. Uh, Jonathan says that's some good support crew right there. Yes, she is amazing. When she knows I genuinely need help, she is amazing. 
Uh, Neil is doing the Breckland Marathon in Thetford. He says it's a trail marathon. Oh, you'll love that. Neil, just go out and enjoy yourself on that one. Don't kill yourself. Just take it nice and easy and enjoy it. Right, when we get to the end of this, I'm going to step off the treadmill and have a sip of tea and uh, a chew, and then we'll get back going again. Mind you, that's hot tea. Uh, Jonathan, Carol is ready for a bacon roll. Better get that sorted. So we'll have another sip of tea after the next set interval. Uh, next rep, rather. Uh, Nick Dumbleton, hello, Nick. He says, evening, gang. Hope everyone's okay. I did a 5K easy run earlier, and it felt good. Uh, Nick was another one who joined us for Park Run on Saturday morning, and also did an awesome marathon on Sunday. So congratulations to Nick, well done. Okay, I think I can gradually feel the sugar kicking in. Give it five more minutes and we'll be all right. All right, here we go with number four now. Just 200 meters and I'll respond to some comments.
Right. I'll have another quick sip of tea. Get that uh, fluid flowing around my body again. Oh no! Tiago Zwift has just crashed. Uh, Byron, hello, Byron. He says, hello, Stephen. I've been selected to run for southeast of England at the London Mini Marathon. Amazing. Well done, you. That is fantastic news. So well done to Byron. Selected to run for the southeast of England at the London Mini Marathon. Victoria says, well done, Nick. The Sunday you looked comfortable. Uh, Nick says, that depends on where you sort me. <laughs> Uh, Neil says he felt comfortable up to 17 miles. And then me, Paul Deering, <laughs> James and Theo caught him up, gave him a pat on the back and said, come on, Neil, join the party. <laughs> well done, though, Neil. I think I'm right in saying Paul Deering felt comfortable pretty much up until 23 miles, 22 miles. And the last four, last two or three, wait a minute, where were we? Yeah, maybe so, maybe the last four miles, Paul was feeling it. The last two miles was a bit of a struggle. But that's marathon running and as long as you get it done that's what counts and he definitely got it done <laughs> uh, carol's suggesting the only reason neil didn't follow us when we passed him was that he didn't want to look at my backside like paul was having to do uh, nick says stephen i don't suppose you know what the cheapest treadmill is that links to Zwift. Um, I think, I think I've seen some for around 500, but they don't go very fast, I don't think. I'll have to have a look for you, Nick. Uh, everyone in group B, group C and group D, well done all. Just keep it going. Doing fantastic. Keep breathing, stay relaxed and just get these reps done. Heart rate 170 for Sebastian. Oh, Tiago's lost the run and can't rejoin. That's so annoying, Tiago. I'm so sorry. It does happen to everyone, though, at some point. Okay. I think the sugar's done its job. I think we're just about okay now. Legs are feeling okay again. Head is not dizzy anymore. So we'll get through this now. Two more reps to go. 
in Group A. Okay, here we go with rep six. And we're gonna go into 14 and a half for this rep. minutes gone. I've been struggling the last 10 minutes to eat a chew. You know those goo, um, what are they called again? Little goo gels anyway. Something like that I've just been eating. It's taken me forever to get it down. Shot blocks, thank you, Carol. I mean, it wasn't a shot block, but it was very similar to a shot block. So, last one coming up. And um, we'll do this at 15. Just to bring the heart rate up a little bit more. Legs are feeling okay now. Not feeling too weak. And then we can have a cool down of 
one kilometer. So here we go with the last one. Clive's heart rate's gone up to 183. Amazing. Well done, Clive. Good work. Jonathan says Carol uses shop box and generally carries with them, carries them with her for the entire marathon without eating any. Well, if you can do that. Brilliant. Best not to eat them if you can avoid it. Sebastian hit 183 BPM tonight. Well done, Sebastian. That is good work. That's what you want when you do this session at full pelt. You want your heart rate to go well into zone five by the end. Ideally, the last two reps, your heart rate should be hitting well into zone five. Uh, Amy says, well done, everyone. Paul Hayward says, that's excellent, Seb. He says, Seb is not in our league. Uh, Jonathan Perkins says, well done, every no, nicely done, everyone. All looking fresh after the marathon. I don't know about that. <laughs> I certainly didn't feel fresh in the first 15 minutes there. Not at all. But it was just your classic sugar crash. So... As soon as I got some sugar in me, soon started to feel better. 
to the fine now. Thank you, Victoria, for coming to the rescue. And I nice have, now I now have a nice cup of tea to drink when I've finished. A one kilometer of cool down at the end of that. Clive says, uh, well done everyone, have a good evening. And see you all tomorrow for the film Mo Run 500, yes. So apologies, I wasn't there yesterday, but I will be there tomorrow. 11.35, UK time for the film My Run 500. And then back again Thursday evening for Bag That Badge. I'm not sure what route we're doing tomorrow. I'll have to check. Oh, film My Run is... St- oh, I need to get that changed. Right, at the moment, film My Run 500 is 12.35. I will try and remember to email them and get that change tonight. Hopefully we can get it changed back to 11.35. Paul Hayward says, as always, great running by everyone, especially Brighton marathoners. Uh, Amy says, my legs are feeling it, but overall, okay. Neil says, well done, everyone. Carol says, John's route tomorrow. Yeah, but... It was John's route last week, so I need to change it. I'll have to look at the schedule and see what it's due to be. On the on the description of the run, whatever is below John's route should be the next one. Well done, Lee Betts. Good job. Good workout. Good effort. It's not on the event description. Oh, that's annoying. I always thought I had it on there. Oh, well, I apologize for that. It's not there. Well, oh, but uh, Sebastian says it's that's Amore tomorrow. Okay. See, I'm looking at my event description, film my run 500, and it hasn't got the list on it. Look. Um. That's what I've got. Event description for the film My Run 500. It should have a list on it of what is coming next. But it isn't there. Oh, well. Oh, bag that badge, not film my run 500, you idiot. Thank you. What am I doing? Such an idiot. Bag that badge, John's route is there. Okay, so yeah. So after John's route, it's that's Amore. Just as Sebastian said, I'm on the wrong run, Carol says. I know, I'm sorry. Brain fog, you see. Post-marathon brain fog. Right, you lot, there we go. 100 metres to go to the end. Well done if you took part today. Groups A, B, C or D. It's all hard work. It's all relative. You've done fantastic today, so good job. Back for more tomorrow. If I can remember what run I'm supposed to be doing half the time. Look, you've all been in here now. Most of you watching this have have now been in here so you know how complicated 
a technical feat it is to manage the film my run the uh, Zwift run channel <laughs> you, know, you you know it's it's beyond most humans capability to manage this setup now what's that 6491 XP until the next reward what's that all about I've never seen that before Carol says thank you for hoovering the lawn you're welcome although it's been very windy the past day or two and we've got loads of um, bark back over the lawn again so that's annoying right can you see that um, just at the hang on at the top at the top there it says 6491 XP until next reward I don't think I've ever seen that before has anyone seen that before up there that's new as far as I'm concerned so I don't want to I want to know what that is uh, in terms of setting up the uh, shed quarters for a, a, a Zwift live stream Carol says it's proper easy it took you four minutes when we were there only because I was panicked and rushed into it Sebastian says, I, I've never been there, but I know this technical disaster. Uh, Jonathan Cost says, get rid of the bark in your garden and use small grey slate instead. Will that have the same effect then? Will it look as nice? That's the other question. We do have some small grey slate um, that we could actually use, but I'm not sure. Is it? Would it look as nice as the bark? Anthony says, I hope you didn't step in anything, Carol, in my garden. Look, there's no, there are no cats or dogs or foxes that do anything in, in my back garden. Excuse me. <coughs> my, my back garden is a cat, dog and fox free zone. Uh, Carol says, luckily he'd sterilized the grass. I, to I told her I'd sterilized the grass. I mean, obviously I hadn't sterilized the grass at all, but we won't tell her that. Uh, right, Debbie Colville says, we have slate, grey slate in ours. Okay. Well, maybe I'll suggest that to Victoria then. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Right, enough of this uh, gardener's question time. Uh, it's time for me to go. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to try and get the film My Run 500 changed to 11.35. If I don't, I'll see you at 12.35 tomorrow. And... Um, what else? Oh, yeah, and bag that badge at 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, and we'll be doing That's Amore tomorrow. That's Amore for bag that badge. Uh, Debbie's going to send me some pictures of the grey slate on her borders. Uh, Sebastian says, what about your Ethernet cable? Uh, should be fine where it is. It's fine. It's not going to be interfered with by grey slate. It'll be all right. Oh, the fox. No, the fox hasn't chewed my Ethernet cable again, thankfully. Um, I'm sure it did once, and I had to fix it, but no, it's, it's fine now. Right, I, look, I'm going. This, this chat is becoming crazy. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Whatever you're going to do, get some nice food down you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.